What is up guys? My name is Chris and welcome to Live with ROG. Today we'll be talking about our new product right here which is the ROG Strix Scar 2. But before that, we are going to give away two sets of ROG Gladius 2 gaming mouse and ROG Scabbard mouse pad. So there will be questions during the stream and make sure you answer them and put them in the comment section below. Lastly, do not forget, please share this post and tag a friend on this post as well. Right, so joining me today is my good friend Shah, Editor-in-Chief from Pogda.net. Hi. How are you, Shah? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. All right, uh, can you tell us about Pogda.net to the okay, audience? Sure, uh, Pogda.net, okay, first of all, it's pronounced as Pogda. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people who's asking yeah. uh, these type of questions, yeah. you know, so it's pronounced as Pogda. Now, uh, we, we, we write about tech and gaming news, and uh, we conduct reviews, and uh, we've been doing this for about uh, over four years now. Wow, and uh, and uh, uh, a, a big part of our, our uh, website is that we like to review gaming notebooks. You know why? Because uh, combining tech and gaming, this is where the bridge meets. So, so uh, this is where these type of uh, notebooks play an important role. Yeah. So, uh, I'm the editor in chief. We have a, we are a small team of uh, five, and uh, yeah, that's about Pokder.net. Right. If you want to know more about Pokder.net, we'll put a link in the comment section below. Make sure you check out their news. Awesome stuff. Sha, so are you ready to open this baby up? Oh yes, let's do this. Alright, you want to do the honors? Sure. Okay. This pleasure's all mine. Let's go. Alright. Okay, so Pretty, the box. Yep. Okay, uh, the first thing that I think the, 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 the public would love to see is how yeah. the box actually opens up. Yep. It looks very premium. You see, yeah. see that there's this uh, section that, that yep. goes together with the yeah, box. Yeah, and you right? have the very nice metallic ROG logo there. ROG logo. This is wrapped in a very nice uh, yep. cloth, right? And th that brings out the machine. Right, right, before we go to the machine, yeah. let's see what it's inside the box. Yeah. So you get a starter pack. Okay, let's open up this starter pack right here. What you get is a sticker. This is very beautiful, actually. Yeah. Or if you really love RG, you can stick it any on any product, your fridge or whatever. I know. I mean, yeah. yeah. And you get instruction manuals. Um, what else? You also get a RG keychain. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. Set this aside. So yeah, you have the adapter on this side. Yep. All right. Now this adapter, there's something very interesting that uh, that, that 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 I like to highlight yep. on this adapter is that uh, it has this ROG logo here. You see, a lot of uh, brands, you yep. know, they miss out on these little details. But this is where uh, ROG has put uh, the attention to details. So you see, there's a yeah. nice uh, glossy ROG yep. logo here. So yep. so and it's very uh, lightweight. It's mm -hmm. not that big. This yeah. is what like. Uh, what? Hundred and this is a two hundred and forty volt. I guess. Yes, it's two hundred and forty yeah. volt. Uh, yeah. It's uh, certified for yeah. our Asian countries. Yeah, yeah. Right. and uh, right. that's the adapter. Then we got the power three pin cables. Yeah, yeah. So these are the three pin cables right. that, that go together this with aside the for a moment. adapter. Uh, Let's come to the main thing, yeah. the main Let's baby the here. Laptop. Okay, now a good touch is that the cloth has the ROG logo here. Yeah. Right, this is very Let's very move beautiful. It here, yeah. Yep. So. Let's stick it out. Yep, let's go. Oh, look at that. There you go, guys. This is the ROG Strix SCAR 2. We'll be talking about more features in a, in a bit, but before that, the first question is coming up right now. So, name three key features of the ROG Strix SCAR 2. You need to name three features, which will which we will be talking about it later. So I repeat the question: It's name three key key features of the ROG Strix SCAR 2, right? So make sure you answer in the comment and share and tag a friend, right? So let's uh, open up and talk about yes. some key features. Let's remove All this right. one. So this is how it looks like inside. You got it's a the, very beautiful machine. Yeah, yeah, you got the translucent keycaps. And then there's also a light bar at the bottom here. And also the ROG logo lights up. So let me just turn on the machine. Yeah. 
So some of the see. things that uh, yeah. you would want to note on this uh, machine is that it has this diagonal line mm -hmm. and it has this yeah. brushed uh, surface, a brushed yeah. aluminum surface, this right? With the ROG logo here, it gives it a very unique dual tone uh, black yeah, finish. Uh, yeah, black yeah. finishing. So yeah. it's it's really beautiful. It mm. looks very nice and it has this mm. nice chamfered edges on the side. Yep. You know, it, it gives it uh, a very premium look. Yep. But that's just the beginning. Yeah. I mean, if you take this out onto a cafe or something, you wouldn't look too gamerish. Yep, per se. Yep. It, it know, works for a business you, laptop as well if you yeah, want to do you, productivity. You know, back in the it. day, we have like this really red and black thing, but now it's just gunmetal, grey yeah. finish. Subtle. I agree with that. I agree yeah. with that. So you can see the RG logo, it's actually RGB. It changes color. Very nice. It's going to make you look really cool. And so, one cool thing it's the keyboard right here. The keyboard is also RGB in color and also light bar, which is also RGB. You can actually change all these color settings. There's like what? Uh, rainbow effects, breathing, uh, breathing, yeah, strobing, strobe, yeah. and it can also light up according to the temperature. So if, it, if it's cool, it will show green. If it's it's slightly it turning, turning warm, it becomes yellow. Yeah, yeah. And if, if it's, it's hot, hot it's it like turns red. red. Yeah. yeah. So that's a really cool effect yeah. actually. And and if you have RG peripherals like this, it will sync up without any problem. Okay, now one thing that you want to note yeah. about uh, the, the SCAR 2 is that mm -hmm. this is the sibling of uh, the Hero 2. Yeah. All right, now, these two game, uh, gaming laptops, they have their own uh, niche markets that they're targeting to. Now, the SCAR 2 is mostly for FPS players, right? Yeah. So, so what happens here is that uh, the WASD keys are mm -hmm. highlighted. These are for, for yeah. FPS gamers, you know, yeah. if you play CSGO or if you play uh, Overwatch or, or other type of FPS mm -hmm. games, you know, this makes a better look for yeah. that. Yeah. Whereas on Hero would have the QWERTY the, key, the, the top keys which are yep. more functional for mobile games. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but the more important part that, that, that that's uh, very interesting in SCAR 2, which is a highlight, is that there's a camo design at the top here. Yeah. yeah, if you look at it closely here, right, you see there's a camo design on this side. It's diagonal from here, right? Half of the laptop is, is designed with camo and it's very stealthy. It's very beautiful, mm. you know? So, so that itself gives uh, it, it the, the essence of, uh, of FPS gaming. Yep. Yeah. So, it's like a military so, theme going exactly, on. Right? Exactly, you know? Yeah. So, so Asus has put a lot of thought inside that. And, and, and the body itself has this carbon fiber finishing, yep. right? Yep. It, it makes it, looks it like blend. It's like a armor. Yes, yeah. it, it blends very nicely with the camo design. So this is something that you, uh, you I, I really love that. Yeah, I really love yeah. this part of this car too. So that's you one thing that you You know what's even better? Note. A high refresh rate screen. This is a 144 hertz, 3 millisecond display. So when you play games like CSGO, it's going to be buttery smooth. Perfect. Yep. And look at the slim bezels. So with the slim bezels, it makes the laptop much smaller. So this is like a 14 inch form with a 15 inch screen. Chassis. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. How, uh, how slim are we talking about when we say slim bezels? This is like 2.3 millimeters. That's very, yep. very slim. Very slim. Yep. And it's not even that thick, to be honest. Right. It is very slim, actually. Yeah. I mean, I mean, considering the fact that uh, this is a refresh from a SCAR 2. See, I can just lift it with, with one, one hand easily. It's yeah. very, very lightweight, yeah. you know? And, and, and it, it, it is slim, you know? If, mm. if, if you look at it, you can just uh, grasp it mm -hmm. simply and, and yeah. it, it, it makes it... Uh, and you don't um, lose all the ports as well. You got like USB 3, yes. uh, SD card. Yes. That's yeah. that's yeah. on this side, and yeah. we also have the power port here. Yeah. All right, and we have a Ethernet cable it, port here as well. Here for the guys to see. So, so you got the power brick, Ethernet jack, and you got a mini display port, HDMI, two USB trees, a USB C. This is not Thunderbolt, by the way. Uh, a headphone jack. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. All right. That's what so the car's all about. Being in such a slim chassis. What, what type of cooling are we talking about here? So we have our Hypercool Pro technology where we use two 12-volt fans and we have anti-dust cooling. So the 12-volt fans, we did an, a little experiment which we're going to put up a little bit. Uh, it's when the laptop is on, the fan manages to blow more than 10 candles in, in the bar. That's what we did in the lab. Yep. It doesn't collect dust as well because it has a... Uh, wind tunnel, is, it has a tunnel right here that expels dust, which we also will show it uh, in a while. So in our testing, we actually, what, maybe 80 plus degrees on gaming? 
Yep. Which is not bad, right? Exactly. Yeah. Now, the, the important part about these fans is that mm. the fins are 0.1 millimeter thickness. Yeah. Now, it is important to notify this because at this level of thickness of a laptop, mm -hmm. the, the the size of the fins yeah. actually matters, you know, because right. we cannot use the conventional 12V phone uh, the fans that are available in the market. Mm -hmm. So what Asus has done is they have put a lot of effort, mm -hmm. a lot of R and D into mm -hmm. it, and, and came up with very very slim fins yep. that not only fits in slim laptop, but they work very efficiently to pu push out the hot air and at the same time prevent dust. Mm. So these are uh, hitting uh, several birds with one stone. So that, that's why this this Hypercool Pro technology is something that's very, very important for the SCAR too. Yeah, at this level of, of, of thickness that we are talking about, it takes a lot of uh, research and development in yeah. place for this. Yep. Yeah. So that's Hypercool So, there. Those of you who are playing online, there's also a very good feature, which is called the Range Boost technology. So it's basically Wave 2 AC Wi-Fi. Yeah, now what yeah. Wave 2 AC Wi-Fi yeah. is that, uh, you know, this is 2x2. Mm. What it allows you is that, you know, if you have a good router uh, which, which supports uh, MU MIMO, now MU MIMO would be multi, multiple users, multi-input, yeah. multi-output, all right? So uh, it's a technology that these routers have implemented that allows multiple streams of wireless connection going in and out. So your packet delivery of, of your UDP packet data when you're streaming or when you're playing your, your games live, you know, it, it, it allows yep. very efficient connection between your game server and your laptop, mm -hmm. right? So because it's a laptop after all, it's a gaming laptop. Correct. So so you would want to have as little cables as possible. Correct. If you still want to resort to Ethernet cable, we have the port yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. But the Wi-Fi is where the technology is at. Two yeah. X two antenna means we have enough antenna around this surface that gives very good surface area for wireless uh, uh, for wireless uh, transmission and receiving. Yeah. So that's what uh, the, the the range boost is all about. Yeah. yeah. And it does make a very big difference, especially when you are playing on a very long run, you know, when, yep. when, uh, eventually when the, when, when the laptop starts gaining a certain level of heat, right? Wi-Fi uh, a module will start to drop in efficiency, which is why you will start to see a lot more latency. Your TTLs will start to Correct. spike, you know, your Correct. ping will start to see a noticeable mm. increase mm. there, you know. That's because your Wi-Fi module is working too much. Yep. But that's because it's a single input and single output. But when you have multiple single input and output, right, it can channel your, your Wi-Fi signals much more streamlined. I see. Yeah, so that's where these 2x2 plays a very important right. role. And not to mention, this thing has four antennas built in. Yep. Right? That's two X2. There's two that. in the corner here and two at the bottom right here. Yep. Yep. So let's go to the next feature, which is Aura Sync. RGB. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves RGB, right? So we briefly talked about the Aura Sync um, feature a little bit earlier. Yep. So the RG logo, as you've seen, can be synced. The Keyboard also can be synced and the light bar can be changed according to different color modes in the Oracle software built in. And it also works with peripherals. That's excellent. Yeah. Now let's explain a bit yeah. of what Aura Sync is all about. Yeah. Well, Aura Sync basically uh, it's our own RGB technology, you would say. It's it's our purpose of giving you Aura Sync it's for to give you like customize your laptop. So we went with the all black design but we decided to put an RGB on it so you can give you can color you can color your own personality basically that's excellent. so if you like if you don't like the black and red thing you know maybe you can go with like black and green or black and uh, pink or something like that it it has 16 million point eight colors option wow that's a yeah. lot that's a lot yeah. you can even match it with your i don't know your favorite handbag or something yeah. you know yeah, your, with mean, your smartphone yeah. colors or anything you know but the most important part about aura sync is that if you do not want to have flashy colors or let's say you don't want to have distractions or or let's say you game better mm -hmm. uh, with just red lights you yeah. can do that mm -hmm. you can synchronize all of the lights including your peripherals mm -hmm. To have the same color scheme throughout the whole setup, yeah, and that gives it a very yeah. a, a remarkable look. It's, it's yeah. ex exquisite. It's beautiful, yeah. right? And, and and if you if you choose to have all the colors displayed, you can turn on the RGB mode, the yeah. rainbow color mode, and scan and, and and synchronize it against the rest of the peripherals as well. And the lights will actually seem like they're working together. 
in a very nice seamless way. Yeah. So that's the that's the beauty yep. of our RSC. Yep. And that's why RGB is, is a big thing right now. A lot of people they, they want to have RGB because of this, because they can project yep. their own preferred color, yep. the, the way that they, they yep. want to express their own Correct. feelings about the what, what they're yep. feeling when they're playing the games, yep. you know? So that's our aura scene. I think mm. I, I love aura scene the, the moment it came out back in those days yeah, actually. Yeah, like it's beautiful. When it first came in uh, out from of the motherboards, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The yeah. motherboards uh, got in the first yeah. actually back in those yeah. days. Yeah. All right. So the next feature we'll look at is the Hyper Strike uh, keyboard. So basically this keyboard is laid out like a desktop keyboard. So if you look at the, 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 the arrow keys right here, so it doesn't flush within the keyboard. So it gives you like a uh, seamless yeah. kind of uh, if yeah. you do so that. You don't, yeah. And the curve too, yeah? I can yeah, feel that they're, 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 they're the curve inwards. They're a little curve. Yeah, little curve. So it fits with your fingers when you when when you when you're placing your fingers on it when you're playing your games. Mm -hmm. You want you want your fingers to to rest on the keycaps. You know yeah. that's where the curve feel actually yeah. comes into place, and it's yeah. really it feels really good. Yeah. Now the W key itself has a, has a kind of like a notch on it. You know this oh, gives you a you know feel uh, of of uh, where the W key is at because when you're gaming mm -hmm. at a high frame rate right. and when the game is intense, yeah. you have no time to even uh, take a look split second to look at yeah. the keyboard. That's where this notch on the W gives you the edge of saying that, you know, this is where you're supposed to, to be placing your finger at. I yeah, see. and, oh, and from, from that point onwards, you can... I you can this, these that. are the small little details that Asus has put inside this car too, right? And, and it makes a very big difference when... If you, if you have used a laptop, a non-gaming laptop, and gaming is your forte, mm -hmm. you should definitely try this out. Yeah. It, it makes a very big yeah. difference actually, yeah. Right, so we've covered all the features, so... The second question is coming up right oh, now. Oh, so not a giveaway. Sure, you want yeah. to do the question? Okay, um, um, let's see. Okay, we did talk about the RS thing. The RS is yep. my favorite feature yep. there, right. right? Okay, then, let me ask this. Um, what are the parts that can be controlled by the Aura Sync yeah. on the laptop, yeah. on this car too. We've right? showed you earlier. Yeah. So the question is, what are the parts of the laptop can be controlled by the Aura Sync? Yeah, so, answer it down there. Yeah, answer in the comment section. Make sure you share and like for a chance to win one of these right here. The RG uh, Gladius 2 and RG Scabbard Gaming Mouse. So, uh, before we end, we'll take a couple questions. Okay. Yep. Um, let me see the screen over there. All right. Um, we have one from Steve. So he says, what resolution does the SCAR 2 uses? What so, resolution? Yeah. Okay, uh, this one, uh, the SCAR2 uses uh, FHD, it's full HD. Yeah, yeah so, so full HD is uh, 1 and 2 0 times 1080. Yeah, right? so, so I think that is the perfect resolution today for gaming yeah. still at the moment. Mm. You know, I yeah. think uh, um, it gives you the best experience. Most of the games are optimized and the Windows works best with it. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so yeah, it supports FHD. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, there's another question asking about what is the processor that is being used in the RG Strix SCAR 2. Oh. So, SCAR 2 standards use a i7 8 gen 8750 yeah. H. Yep. Yeah. And it, it's clocked at 2.2 gigahertz, and uh, the turbo boost is up to 4.1 gigahertz. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you are gaming uh, uh, intensely, right, right the, 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 the CPU will automatically clock to 4.1 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but by default, on standby mode, on, on idle mode, it, it uh, clocks at 2.2 gigahertz. Right. Yeah, right. that's an 8750H. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take one last question before uh, we. Uh, what's that? Well, what I what? How much RAM does the RG Strix SCAR 2 support? Oh, um, yeah. the RAM by default comes with uh, 16 gigabytes. This model is a 10, 6, 1070 model, yeah. so it comes with 16 gigabytes default. Yeah, single. single That's single RAM. channel, single yeah. single RAM. Single RAM. Single so stick. there's another additional slot for you to add 16 gigabytes. That will so give you 32 yeah. gigabyte of so DDR4 yeah. RAMs. So this thing supports 32 gigabytes, yeah. no problem at all. If you want to go all the way out. All right, so I guess that's uh, for the show for now. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you answer the questions in the comment below. Make sure you share and tag a friend. And Sha, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Pleasure is all mine. And we'll see you in the next one. Excellent.